Hi, my name is Chris Bell and I have created my own Ethereum token and I've issued myself a million tokens so that I can hand them out for free and help create awareness in the industry before people jump into this stuff with real money. The Bell stands for B for Bitcoin, E for Ethereum, L for Litecoin, and the second L is for the Litecoin fork, which is Dogecoin, much fun. All of those four tokens have their own blockchain, so they're considered cryptocurrencies. You can see my token, the Bell token, on the Ethereum blockchain, which is etherscan.io. Once you go there, there's a search bar on the top right, you type in Bell, and I come right up. It says Chris Bell, there's one million tokens, and I gave them all to myself. Now, this is part of the reason that I want everyone to know how easy it is for someone to try to raise money at that point. I could issue them out at $10 per token and try to raise a bunch of money so that I could start a business or you know, start a platform online and a decentralized cryptocurrency of some sort. I could do all of that if I wanted to, but I, I don't want to right now. I just want to build a cryptocurrency that I can give out for free to people so that I can transfer some coins to them, they can download a wallet, they can understand the process of downloading an app, creating a wallet, creating a 12 word password, which hashes into a private key and public key. And once you have the public key, you can send funds or tokens from that address to another address. Anyone with an Ethereum address uses the exact same address for all of the tokens on the Ethereum blockchain, such as Bell. So if you wanted me to send you some Ethereum, I would send it to your address, your Ethereum address. And then if you wanted me to turn around and send you some Bell tokens, I would send it to the exact same address. go to my website chrisbell.com you'll see a token link and you click on the token it tells you all about my token which I'm about to tell you about right now uh, you learn for free go down to the bottom I want to make sure that you're not a robot so I have these two little very simple things that you can fill out give me your ether address and I don't ask for any of your personal information at all people have already come and taken some of these tokens 50 at a time and they don't even have to give me their name, their address, their email address, nothing. So I don't even know who the people are who are taking these coins. All I know is that on the Ethereum blockchain, I can see where I'm sending those coins. So they're all in my long Ether address right now. I send them to another Ether address, and those are the people that now have the coins. I don't know if they're male, female. I have no idea anything about them, where they're from, or how they decided to find me and find my coins. But I'm giving them out for free. I want people to be able to use them and I want people to pay it forward. I want them to tell their friends how to download the app, download an Ethereum wallet, create a, um, an Ethereum address. And once you create the Ethereum address, that address is used for all of the tokens on the Ethereum blockchain. So if you go to etherscan.io, you can go to the top right into the search bar and type in Bell, B-E-L-L, -L, and that will bring up my token, which stands for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Litecoin Fork, Dogecoin. Much fun. Dogecoin, I know, is, is added in there and people think it's a joke, but it's not a joke at all. If you look at the top transactions by coin, you'll see that uh, Dogecoin is in the top five for most transactions in a cryptocurrency. Now, a lot of people might think that EOS and Binance and OMG are all big ones, but those are tokens on the Ethereum blockchain. So when you look at the very top of the transaction list, Ethereum is first because all of the tokens that are making transactions are actually using Ethereum as a transaction fee. So when you send Bitcoin, you're sending Bitcoin and there's a transaction fee in Bitcoin that goes to the Bitcoin miners, which is all Bitcoin on the Bitcoin blockchain. Then you have Ethereum, which is all Ethereum transactions that use Ethereum to process those transactions and they all go to the miners who are mining Ethereum. The people who are mining Ethereum also get transaction fees for people who send Bell tokens. So if you go to the bottom of my website, I'm actually giving away Bell tokens, but I'm also giving away a very small amount of Ether for people to be able to send it. Because if I send my 
bell tokens to you and they're in your wallet, you can't send them to anyone without also having Ether. And I don't want you to have to go and, and purchase it with a credit card or anything like that on an exchange and then send it to that wallet. So I'm also sending Ether to that wallet, which is a very small amount, 0 0.005. And if you take the maximum amount of bell tokens, then I'm gonna give you 0 0.05 ether which is the maximum i'm giving out so you can come to my website right now and get free ether and free bell tokens because i'm trying to raise awareness i want people to learn for free i want them to understand this stuff i want them to understand how easy it is to create a token like i did and then just afterwards um, go home and send it to some of their friends and they'll understand that you know some of these big companies that are starting out right now and they're raising billions of dollars through a token just seems a little bit silly to me uh, people are just paying astronomical amounts for these tokens that are in the billions of dollars for market cap and i want them to understand how easy it is and, and how easy it is to just grab some tokens and send some tokens it's no different than sending ether um, which is ethereum litecoin dogecoin bitcoin they're all very similar I chose those four cryptocurrencies not only because it spells my last name, Bell, but I chose them very specifically because they all have their own blockchain. Each one of those cryptocurrencies, even Dogecoin, has its own blockchain. When you use Ethereum and you're sending tokens, you're like I said, you're sending the tokens with Ethereum. You're not sending the token. I'm not sending you 100 Bell tokens and then there's a one bell token fee because there's no miners for bell tokens there's miners for ethereum so when i send you a hundred bell tokens you're going to get all of the hundred bell tokens and then i'm going to have to spend a little bit of ether to send it to you which is like 10 cents five cents two cents sometimes depending on how busy the network is but that's how it works so that's why those are the four top cryptocurrencies that i think you should be investing in especially when you're first starting out I am the only person as a developer. I am the only one on the development team. There is not much development needed for me to build the hundred, the million tokens. I created one million tokens and I sent them all to my own address. I'm keeping 40,000 of them and I'm gonna give out the rest to whoever wants them. Uh, and whenever they come to my website, I'm maxing it out at 8,000 per month. So when you come to my website and you see that there's zero left, that means that people took them already for that month. I'm going to give away 8,000 tokens per month for 10 years, and I'm keeping the other 40,000. I almost want to see as a, a trick if they somehow end up on an exchange, if they somehow end up trading for money at some point. I have no idea if they will. I don't care if they do. I'm not trying to collect money to start a business. I'm not trying to collect money to steal money from people. I'm giving out all of those tokens, 960,000 out of a million for free to people. However, I'm creating a little bit of a demand by issuing only 8,000 per month. So there's very, very few in circulation. Uh, you're gonna have them and you're gonna be able to give them to your friends and I want you to show a friend how to download the app, how to download an Ethereum wallet, how to create an Ethereum address, and then once you have the Ethereum address, you can accept Ethereum and you can accept Bell tokens. And then from there, once you have a little bit of Ethereum and the Bell tokens, you can then send half of those tokens to your friend and it will show you a very small transaction fee in Ether that you'll have to spend to send those tokens. I started the token in May of 2018, so I issued out 8,000 in May and 8,000 in June 2018. And currently there are 13,650 left by the end of June. And right now it's a 27th, so uh, I'm about to issue out another 8,000. So there'll be about 23 or 24,000 open for people to take. But once those are gone, like I said, they're just gonna be gone. I'm putting a maximum of 2,000 per person or per Ethereum address. It's up to you. If you wanna create a second Ethereum address, I'm gonna have no idea that it's you compared to another person other than the fact that you're doing it back to back maybe because there's not that many people doing it right now. But if you create a second Ethereum address, once you've hit the maximum, I will send you 2000 tokens to a second Ethereum address because I have no idea if it's you or if it's a new person. So um, feel free. if you're that educated and you really want to do that, then that's fine. I just want to get these tokens out in circulation. And the whole point 
you know, I don't want people to come and just take as many tokens as they can as a hope to hold them and maybe sell them later because that's not the point here. The point is that I want people to understand what these tokens are, how a token is different from a cryptocurrency with its own blockchain, and how the development team is needed for a blockchain and how I don't need a development team to create an entire blockchain. And if my token gets hacked, it's because of the Ethereum network. It's not because of anything that I did. All I did was build a token on the Ethereum network. I named it. And um, if anybody wants me to build one for them, I'd be more than happy to. If anybody wants to call me or email me, I'd be more than happy to walk you through. Uh, I, tried to, I tried to list it all on the website there, how to download the app, how to create the address and everything. But if you need more help, please, please just call me or email me. I have no problem helping people. I want to create awareness in the industry. Um, all my information is there. I have wristbands that I'm going to be giving away for free. I, I just really want people to understand and, and know what these are. And when you have my wristband and it says Bell, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Dogecoin on it, you're going you're gonna to wear that wristband and tell people those are the ones that actually have blockchains. A lot of the other ones don't have their own blockchain. And if you look a company up that has their own blockchain, then it's a very good thing that they have the blockchain and that you're mining the cryptocurrencies. I, like I said, gave myself a million tokens. I have the million. If it, if it was my choice to only give out 49% of them, then I could do that and then force everyone to only have 50% in circulation and I would have the final say of everything that goes on and I could just rip everybody off at the end of it all. So that's what I don't really like about the token situation right now. For And I encourage people to go on to the blockchain and look at the top token holders. And if you see that anything near the top 10 own more than 50%, then that's probably, you know, I can create three addresses and split those coins up and say that there's different people that own them, but there's not. I have all those addresses. So if there's a coin out there and, and you look at the top token holders and you see that 10 addresses, again, we have no idea who those people are who own those addresses. If the top 10 own 50%, then it's a really bad investment to jump into that. So I had at one point diversified into a bunch of coins and then I took everything out of all of those coins and went right back into the top four. Uh, these have been in um, circulation for a very long time and if you look at the blockchain for Bitcoin and Ethereum, you'll see that the top token holders are only one to two percent at most. Uh, they don't hold 40 percent, which This is where I'm trying to create the awareness. This is where I'm trying to get people to learn about it. And as you have a couple coins in your own wallet and you've downloaded the wallet and you've sent some tokens to a friend, you've done it all for free, you'll now learn a little bit more about it. And maybe you'll read a few more articles with a more educated point of view. And once you do that, you'll be able to understand more and more about cryptocurrency before you really jump in with real money and, un and try to figure out what this stuff is all about. And, and you know, before you know it, you might lose some money buying one of these random tokens that just all of a sudden they're not really creating that app that they thought they were going to. They haven't really been able to figure out how to develop the platform that they wanted to, that they said they were going to be able to. So a lot of these tokens are selling for 10, 20, 30, 40, 100 dollars a piece and there's not even an app created yet. There's not even a platform there yet. So it, come on, you know, it, you can't help the supply and demand situation once you've created that coin. You can issue them for a dollar and all of a sudden they're going for $20. But at the same time, you don't need 50% of them. It's not a company. It's, it's, it's a token. Thank you very much.